Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Nino Kuni Cross Worlds working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So we have no macOS version, however we do have an iPad version and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get past the crashing in the beginning and log in and be able to play this game on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing, it just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So what we need to do is to go to the App Store, so we're going to click on the App Store icon here, then we're going to type in the search bar Nino Kuni and press return and what you're going to find is that under the Mac apps tab here, there is no results. However, if you click on see all iPhone and iPad results or click on this tab here, then you're gonna see that Nino Kuni Cross Worlds is actually available to download here. So I'm gonna click on this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press the get button and then install. So in order to download this, you're gonna to have to authenticate with your computer. I'm gonna use my touch ID or you could type in your password and this should download as long as you're logged into your iCloud iTunes account. So just wait for this to complete downloading and then we can move on to the next step. So once this is complete, we can now go ahead and press the open button here. If you do get an error message, then just try again, press reopen. So the crashing is something that happens multiple times. So this is something that happens on first launch. So if you just keep relaunching it over and over again, this I think took around 10 times to get through. Once you're actually in, it should be plain sailing from there. You'll find the game under Finder and under the Applications folder, and you just scroll down and find Nino Kuni and just keep double clicking on it until it launches. Here we're going to scroll down and accept the terms and conditions. So just keep relaunching until you manage to get into the game. You're gonna tap on the screen. And then we're gonna download the in-game assets, which is three gigabytes, which is quite large. I'm gonna press the download now button and just let that download. We can also play a mini game while we're waiting. So once that's complete, we're gonna press here, enter game. And this is gonna start the actual game itself. So here, if you wanted to, you could press the green button here, which is gonna enter the game full screen. And because this is the iPad aspect ratio, we're gonna have these black bars on the side, but this is gonna be one of the compromises you're gonna have on not having a native Mac version of this game. We're playing the iPad version instead. So all of the touch controls are emulated with the mouse. So you can see I'm clicking here and it's as if we were touching the screen of an iPad. So here I'm gonna select my class, view my character. Here I'm gonna select the which character. I'm gonna press customize and then next and then next. Here I'm gonna press complete and I'm gonna enter the game. If you wanna skip this, you can press the skip button on the top right. Then we're gonna tap the screen to log in. So you can actually use the touch screen here. You can use the mouse to move around, or you can actually use the WASD keys here to move around too. So that all works with keyboard controls. Here we're just go to the options, just show some of the settings that we can tweak. So for example, here we can go to the advanced settings, gonna change everything to very high. We're gonna turn on some full screen anti-aliasing. We're gonna target a higher frame rate. It's so gonna go to 50 frames per second. But strange that they don't have a 60 FPS option here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead. And uh, those are the options I'm gonna tweak. So now I've come back in the game and it's running at a much higher frame rate. So you can basically see this game works great. It's running at the max frame rate of 50 FPS and this works fantastically well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is despite the fact that we're running the iPad version. We've got these black bars here and we have sort of some keyboard and mouse support. It works well. So one interesting thing I discovered is that there's a similar PC shortcut that works great on the iPad version. If you press function F1, it's gonna show you all of the keyboard bindings. So it looks like you can actually play this in entire game just using the keyboard controls, which is fantastic. This means that you don't just have to rely on iPad touch controls, we can use the keyboard and mouse fully. So anyway, this is how you get Nino Kuni Cross Worlds working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other Mac tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.